I used to live here on the reservation, riding the bus to school, long hours, overnight to get home, there was no school, and it was being a small, small community where you knew it was the end of the that they died. I was very fortunate growing up to see the excitement that my mother had towards education. She was a high school English teacher, and, and I remember how energized she was, uh, how much she loved her job. And uh, unfortunately, I had a father who wasn't as happy in his work, and I was able to contrast the two uh, perspectives. And I recognized that for me, it was important to do something that would make me happy and something that would uh, inspire others and create positive change. And so I pursued education. Y a la señora Cisneros le va a hablar sobre sus cursos para cambiar la clase. The reservation was, uh, the Yakima reservation was not something that I, I thought would would draw me back uh, as a place of employment later on in my life. Uh, but I was able to travel quite extensively, live outside the country, um, you know, live in different states, and, and, and I ended up right back where I started. And it's just a tremendous feeling to be able to now, knowing what I know and having the experiences that I had here on the reservation to, to, to help other students uh, achieve their dreams. We want to see the... The turtle. Okay, good. What's your motivation? That's my motivation. What's your motivation? I'm in the class every day. Uh, I've evolved to be able to, to do that. I would say if you were to ask me that question a couple of years ago or maybe even last year, um, I would have said that I would have liked to be in the classes more. This year I've been able to be in the classes on a daily basis and it just energizes me to see the students and to feed off what what they're doing in class, uh, to talk with them, to see what they're learning, to allow them to verbalize uh, their needs and desires and hopes and dreams uh, so that I, ha I can gauge what we can do as a, as a staff to help them uh, realize their vision of the future. You can raise your hand if you have some idea what that is. Probably the most supportive administrator I've ever had and um, one of the reasons that I have stayed in Toppenish is because of the amount of support that you get as a teacher here and the things that you can do and if you have a vision the support that is and the funds that are available there to see it happen for the students. So tell me what you're doing, what you got going on. Four and a half years ago we we had an opportunity to, to be a part of Project Lead the Way and start an engineering program um, and Trevor was instrumental in that. Right now we're actually learning about the bacterial cell structure. Our STEM program, uh, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, it's, it's very high profile right now in the, in the state and in the nation. We offer now, after three years, uh, 11 different courses that have to do with biomedicine and engineering. He really is exceptional at putting people in places that they'll be most successful at. Um, and then allowing us to do our work. And so you're going through each one of these, right? Yeah. He, he's a good listener. He, he's definitely not one of those people that, uh, you know, tells you what he wants. Uh, he, he, he plays to your strengths. I think he does a good job delegating, um, and he takes what he has and just, and just makes a beautiful school out of it. All right, nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Well, we, we have a, a population that's in the 99th percentile as far as uh, poverty. We have students that have parents that are working uh, in the fields, um, tremendously long hours. We have uh, students who have parents working nights at the casino. We have students with no parents. We have uh, students living with relatives. And uh, one of the things that I, I know to be true is that it's important to connect every student with an adult advocate. We've done that through our advisory program in which students loop with a teacher for their four years at high school. And that teacher is, uh, is there for them every day and works with them and meets with them on a constant basis to, uh, to attend their emotional, social, and uh, academic needs to help them achieve and succeed uh, beyond, um, beyond just in one classroom, but in life. He feels that every child has the potential of being anything they choose to be and that we are simply just a part of the catalyst piece to help them get there. How's your second day of school? First day, first full day. He's hands-on. He's very personable. He loves to be around our, our families, our, our parents. He'll walk into a, a student-teacher conference and sit down and carry on a conversation with the parents. 
Uh, he just he makes you feel very comfortable about being a teacher here. And, uh, they're just great for eating it up. Why are we successful here? Is nobody does it alone. Uh, I've only been here four years, so the school was recognized in 2008 as a a phenomenal school. Well, that was there was leadership here prior to me coming, and the teachers are are still here. So you have to look at who's here and the work that they're doing and uh, and their willingness to buy into somebody else's vision uh, to take them to another level. And uh, I think that the, the, the secret at Toppenish is we have a lot of homegrown teachers that come back and want to give to the place that they grew up. Congratulations. Thanks. 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 Take care. You take care. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We go way back, don't we? Yeah, we do. Go way back. The, this was never in something that I thought would happen. Um, I simply am who I am and I try to do what is right by, by my heart. You can't aspire to something great. If you do, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. But make a difference in your community, make a difference day to day with the students and great things will happen.